You used the wrong toothpaste. What? Really? Yes. The brand you used is only good for 82% of your dental hygiene needs. The brand I'm going to recommend is good for 87%. You should also floss and use mouthwash, but don't be tempted to drink it. Now, go back and live your life with this wisdom in mind. Jesus Christ. No, God, actually. Jesus is my rebellious son. Sorry, I guess I just didn't realize the eternal ramifications of proper dental hygiene. Well, now you know. Don't bother with the whitening strips. That shit is too expensive. It's fucked up. Jake wants me to do his new flick, but I gotta suck the senior citizen's dick. I mean, the guy's pushing 80 and I gotta do all this crazy shit. I mean, I mean, I wanna make a name for myself in this industry, but shit, man, it's tough. Oh, but Jake says I gotta do this movie because he's got the novelty market cornered and he's old and crazy and shit. He doesn't stick to the script, but that's it. I'm gonna go out and buy some beer. All right. Oh, don't forget to get some more Vaseline. Yeah, you need cigarettes? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I turned down the midget gig and the amputee thing. You know, the money's good. I just, I gotta live with myself for fuck's sake, eh? Want to come to my place for a drink? I don't drink. Cup of coffee? I don't drink coffee. Glass of milk? I'm lactose intolerant. How about some tap water? I only drink spring water. Wow. I am just about speechless. You're basically telling me to fuck off then. No, 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 no. I, um, I only like truckers. Big, bald, filthy, beer gutted truckers. You're serious? Oh, yeah, totally. Look, you're far too handsome for a girl like me. You gotta have some serious ugly to get into my pants. I'm a truck stop whore and I'm very passionate about my work. Well, fuck. You dress like an uptight society cunt. Look, how subtle do I have to be? Go get drunk, asshole. I have a penis. No vagina, just dick. Good. Because I have a vagina. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh, did you hear what happened to Julie? She got her new breast implants a couple weeks ago and she was breastfeeding her baby. And I guess she was talking on the phone at the same time and she got like wrapped up in the conversation because her baby suffocated between her fucking tits. Now that's a goddamn shame. Hey man, you got an extra cigarette? Sorry, I only got two left. Oh, that's cool. Uh, one for you and uh, one for me. Look, I can't give you a cigarette. Come on, man, it's just a smoke. It's like 35 cents or whatever. You ever heard of sharing? Sharing's for kindergarten. This is the real world. I bought these goddamn cigarettes. That's the end of it. Fine then, here. I'll give you a quarter. Besides bus money, it's all I have. It's my fault you've got an addiction that you can't support? Charming. You're a fucking prize. Seriously, don't talk to me. You get nothing from me. Well, fuck you then. Fuck you and that little attitude you got going there. You got two cigarettes. Good for you. It's not like you got two pairs of lactating breasts or two ham sandwiches. You're not making any sense. 
I mean, ham sandwiches. What's that got to do with anything? There's a time and a place, please. I love ham sandwiches. If I had a ham sandwich right now, I'd take it and run. And you better believe it get milk straight from the tin. I have no interest in hearing this. Just looking and listening to you has ruined my day. Leave me alone. Hey man, I'm just saying you're the one being uptight about this. I'm not being uptight. I'm pissed off that you're invading my personal space. I've got a lot on my mind right now. So leave me alone, and we can pretend like this whole conversation never happened. We'll find that. I'm going downtown to suck on a pair of nice, swollen, lactating breasts, and you're not invited. And then I'm going to the deli to steal a ham sandwich to go to the nursing home my friends work at, so I can put on a puppet show for elderly folks about funerals and boiled eggs. Listen, this conversation is over. I can't handle this. Crazy bitch Sandra. She says she wants to move back to that trailer park in Louisiana. She says she wants to like start a family and shit, but I say she's turning tricks in a couple weeks. Yeah, that guy who used to stalk her there, that inbred jerk off, he used to be one of her clients and like the main reason why she moved out of there. He got wasted by the cops when he was trying to rob a liquor store naked. I know. So tell me, when did you become homeless? About two weeks ago. Told my girlfriend her pussy was going to stink till the day she died, and then it was going to stink even worse. <laughs> she threw me out. Was it worth it? It was worth something. Just not sure what yet. So, what now? Well, clean up my act and look for a new broad to shack up with. Never lasts long, though. <laughs> Love's just too tame for the beasts in me. <laughs> Tell me, what exactly are you running from? Everything, including myself. When I slow down, the ugliness of my own thought processes threaten to ruin any momentum. So, I try to remain as ignorant as possible. Drugs and alcohol serve to <laughs> keep me a safe distance from the truth. Hey, you want to pick this scab on my face? It's really itchy. No, my scars are on the inside. Your scars disgust me. Okay. Did you give me 20 bucks? No. Okay. Well, I gotta start panhandling. Can you, like, fuck off or something? Gladly. Good luck or whatever. Dude, I was on TV, the local news. No shit, how'd it go down? Well, uh, earlier in the day, some guy filmed me walking down the street. That's it? You didn't talk to the guy? No. They, uh, they just filmed my body, but I know it was me because of the clothes I was wearing. So what was the point of that? They were doing a story on the obesity epidemic. That's what you're all worked up about? They filmed your disgusting body walking down the street and hid your identity out of pity? Yeah, but I was on fucking TV, man. I, I just don't see what the big deal is other than the fact that you were a big deal with your fat ass and man cleavage. Dude, don't put me down. You're just jealous. Oh, come on. People watching, probably laughing at you. Can't you see they made an example out of you? Don't fucking ruin it for me. Just being honest. But I was on fucking television. I'm gonna go get a pizza to celebrate. My point exactly. Talk to you later, superstar. Mm -hmm.